Hello, best friend, and oh, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Girl, listen, if this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, girl, you have to have... Let's talk, bitch. Let's talk. Okay, you are right now in my in my bosom, and I love you, and I'm holding you tight, bitch. Feel this. Feel this hug, bitch. Feel the hug. Okay, are you feeling it? Are you fucking feeling it? Oh, yeah, girl, you're feeling it. Feel the hug. Let out. Let out any emotion, any negative. Let it out, bitch. Let it out. I'm hugging you so tight. If you're having a bad day, I'm hugging you like there's no tomorrow with your consent, of course, bitch. I'm hugging you. I'm hugging you. I'm hugging you. And you're all better, okay? A tight, tight fucking hug. And you're better. Anyways, welcome back. If you are new, I am your messy best friend. And uh, I love you all so much. And I'm very grateful for you guys. And uh, let's talk, you guys. Did I mention my name was Sebastian, bitch? I have no idea. Anyways, we are still here in Puerto Vallarta. And I'm on a mother-son trip, if you guys don't know. So, hello. Um, let's talk. Because we have to talk, okay? So, this whole Francia, Selena Gomez friendship is giving me the irks, okay? It's giving me the irks. I don't even know if that's a fucking word. But whatever it means, it's giving him to me, Okay? Kind of like when you eat a lot of milk, or when I eat a lot of milk products and I don't take my lactate, bitch. It's, it's giving that. Um, so, you know how a lot of people are saying that the only reason that she followed Selena Gomez and she liked the picture and then she did that lame ass paparazzi video thing was because she wanted the clout? Well, I said, Sebastian. Go do some digging. Do, go so do some digging. And girl, look what I found. So her Instagram, right? I'm going to read you guys from last Thursday, okay? From Thursday to today, Thursday. And you are going to see a huge difference, okay? So last Thursday, she gained 366 new followers. Friday, she gained 216. Saturday, 222. Sunday, 508. Monday, 292. Tuesday, 244. Wednesday, 365. Now, with all this Selena Gomez commotion, Francia's name back in the headlines, we're talking about her. People are mentioning her. People are adding her. People are saying, oh, girl, now that Selena Gomez forgave you and you guys are best friends again, let's all be best friends again. Yesterday, a whopping almost 70,000 people followed her on Instagram, you guys. That's like 100% more than any other day the past weeks, okay? And today, the day's not even halfway through, almost 21,000 people people started following her. Puerto Vallarta, it's giving cloud chaser, okay? It's giving cloud chaser, okay? No, sir, do not get mad at me, sir. No, do not get mad at me, sir, okay? <clears throat> King Triton, this dude need to go. You need a King, King Triton. Oh, girl, King Triton is so damn sexy, bitch. I sometimes just sit here and I'm like, are mermaids real? I feel like mermaids are real. Please leave a comment below if you think mermaids are real. Because I swear I saw Ariel here dancing one day to Under the Sea. Okay, bitch? Listen. <sighs> Anytime you associate yourself with the queen, Selena Gomez, you obviously get clout, right? You get your name out there. You get press. You get media. Uh, you get more... Uh, algorithm in your favor, more, uh, uh, what is it called? More traffic to your website, to your social media. And <clears throat> some fans really do believe that Francia did this for attention and clout. Now her TMZ video, that's not really helping her out. That's not really helping out the situation for Francia. I have to tell you guys something, you know, obviously, all we can do is respectfully believe and hope that Selena knows what she's doing. That she knows how to, 
have her boundaries and have her boundaries respected. That's a very important thing. And be aware of who she has around her. I feel bad for Selena because I feel like maybe the only person that she knows that won't use her is like Taylor Swift because Taylor Swift is huge, right? But I would be so freaking terrified of allowing anyone into my life because I'm like, what do you want from me? Are you trying to get money? Are you trying to get fame? Like, you know, I, I, and I'm already paranoid as fuck. So imagine, you know, when you are the most followed per woman on Instagram and when you are close to becoming a billionaire and basically having the Midas touch, people around you, you know, and Francia is a, at least a CB list, you know, uh, celebrity. So we're seeing the numbers rise. We're seeing her interview with TMZ. Once again, TMZ randomly found her in a parking lot. And I just feel it in my heart that Selena needs to kind of go really slow with people. And a lot of you guys always comment that, oh, look, um, what is this called? A skydiver thing? A, a, a parachute? A paragliding? Whatever the fuck it is. I would love to do this, but I'm. T can you imagine me spilling tea up here, bitch, and then dropping my phone and then Ariel catching it and not wanting to give it back because she thinks it's a fucking dingle hopper? Anyways, um, what was I saying? I don't know. Anyways, no, I would be very terrified. And I think Selena needs to take it slow and all we can do is respect that, you know, respect her and know that she knows what she's doing. But it's obvious that Francia definitely is getting a lot of rewards for, you know, following and, and kind of putting it out there that they're friends again. Now, we don't exactly know what happened. We don't exactly know who's to blame or what's to blame or, or if no one's to blame. Maybe it's just, that's just what, you, what had to happen. But a lot of people are convinced that she did this for clout and also just to kind of reverse the hate that she has been getting. And I think that if I were Selena, I would, I would really keep these people far. A lot of you guys have said that Selena does not know how to choose her friends because they oftentimes end up being very shady. Um, I am planning on doing a video of her friendships when I get back to LA. So it's, you know, an edited, you know, deep dive type of thing. But I do have to say, you guys, you know, when you're older, uh, when you're a kid, it, making friends is easy. But when you're older, doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter where you come from, money, whatever. It's very difficult because you just don't know who you can trust. You don't know what intentions people have with you. You don't know who they really are. You know, there's a saying in Spanish saying uh, in English translate. It's like you never you never finish meeting someone you never finish getting to know someone if that makes any sense so i would honestly just be weary if i were selena of course francia's popularity is going to go up again because selena gomez fans are now you know made to believe that everything is great so they want to support selena so they're gonna follow francia but i don't know you guys what do you think let me know in the comments below i do have to tell you guys though that puerto Vallarta. They are definitely Team Selena. Okay, honey. Anyways, I love you all so much. I'm so grateful for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.